I got a request from John Paul Arch to do Neil Young's The Neon, The Damage Done. <clears throat> and I first thought, ooh, I like Harvest Moon. I could do that one as the third lesson. And then I played around with Harvest Moon, which I hadn't played in a while, and realized it's kind of a strange tune, the kind of things you do that aren't real typical. And then I played Neon, The Damage Done, which I've never done before, and discovered, oh, this is a great third tune. It uses techniques that come up all the time in all sorts of songs, and it's a great song, and it's pretty simple, but it's definitely an advance from Working Class Hero, which was a step from Knocking on Heaven's Door, kind of building on it, so it works out great. So I'm going to try The Needle and The Damage Done. Uh, looking on YouTube, I discovered there are a million covers of that song, which kind of proves that's probably a good one. Okay, so for The Needle and The Damage Done, We've got a couple chords, but they're going to be messed with. So there's the D chord, which we've used a bunch of times, right? Maybe used D before. Uh, but Neil Young, like many people, and this is the thing that I mean, put some chords in here that aren't really completely normal chords. They get like D slash C's and G minor slash B's, weird stuff. And it looks all weird, and if you're trying to read it, you're like, what is this? All it is is somebody just playing the guitar. So you're in the D chord, got your fingers like this, and then you lift this finger up, and you do this. And then, now that you've done that, you lift this finger up and do this. There's some strange little chords, they have all fancy names, but it doesn't matter, this is how you play it, and then finally he does this. I'm not going to tell you names of these things, it doesn't matter. So you've got D, this thing, this thing. The important thing to recognize is you're on the A string and you're going one after another. So it's that's a real nice trick. Lots of people do things like that. Okay, so just going over all the chords that will be in this song. That was a nice little trick. How the song goes. For the most part, the rest of it are just chords. There are a couple of note runs I'm going to try to show you that are neat and advanced on what we did in Working Class Hero. So again, most of the chords are this D thing, the weird set of Ds that come. And then it's a C. One of the only normal chords in this song. C. And then this, where all I'm doing, just like before, he doesn't want to move too many fingers. He leaves this finger sitting in the same place. He takes these two and just moves them down. So they were here, they come down. Each one comes down a string, and you get this thing, some kind of F, and then sometimes he uses his pinky on the E string, on the, on the highest string, to get this G. I've noticed most people online who do this song do not do this. Some of them do this, but I've seen almost no one do this. But that's what he does, and that's what I'm trying to imitate. So there's the D's, the C, this thing, we're almost there. Then another kind of strange chord, it has a fancy name, doesn't really matter. This is kind of like an E minor, if you know that one, move down. He also does it like this, which is kind of like an A. If you know that one, moved up. So it's all the note, three fingers moved up together. He doesn't actually play this note very often. That's why it's okay to do this. And then finally E major which is almost the same thing as what I was just doing a second ago, except now this finger has to come back to the E major. Okay, so in order it goes like this. D, this D with a C on top, this D with a B on top, this D with a B flat on top, then the C, then this F-like thing with the G down here, then this bizarre chord, and then find the E major. Now, of course, it's not how he plays it. He plays it slow, very important, slow and, and sad. He plays it so slow and sad, but he does the same thing we're doing on Working Class Hero. He generally picks a note, or kind of a couple notes, and then he plays the chords. So there's a pick on the third, on the one. It's slower than that, but that's the way it goes. And then instead of going, and down every time. He's generally just doing the ups. Maybe a down every once in a while. Two 
fast. To get that, so it's the pick on one or two notes at the top, and then this sort of up strumming stuff. feel down before I move on. So you see what I'm doing? I'm going up, skipping this down, and then hitting again. So up, so pick, and then immediate up. Pick up, skip, up. And you don't have to be too precise. It's one of the things about trying to read somebody else's notes or chords that they're playing, is if you try to do every single thing they do, you'll get caught up in the details and you'll miss the feel of it. Um, we'll make a video about how to try to learn from all the stuff on the online sometime. Now we go to that C. And that weird thing. And the next weird thing. And the E major. Did you catch that? So it's the D, this thing, this thing, this thing. Then it's the C, this one, include the G or not, this one, which is like the E minor moved down or the A major moved up, and then finally to the E. And that's all he does chord-wise throughout the whole song. So the way the song actually works is he plays that kind of thing twice without singing, then he plays it twice with singing, then he plays it once without singing, then he plays it three times with singing, and then finally ends on this thing. It doesn't go very far. This is the very end. And here's the last thing. So it kind of ends on like the most dissonant, strange sounding chord, adding to the sadness of this tune. So important to keep it slow because of that. Um, at least to me. So that's the idea, but here's the trick. He plays those slightly differently when he's singing and when he's not. When he's singing, he plays it almost exactly like I've shown you. So he does everything I've done, but then at the E major, instead of going, he does a picked run. That is, just like in uh, Working Class Hero, he's going to pick some notes. But this time, instead of just picking on the one and then strumming the rest of the time, like he's doing here, He's going to pick the one, and then strum up on the and, one and, and then he's going to pick the next one. And he's going to pick the next one. So he's picking on one, two, three, four, and strumming on and, 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 and. The one and is a strum, the two and is a strum, the three and is a strum, and the four and is a strum. And the notes he's picking are this one, so that's on the D string at the second fret. That's the first one. The second note he picks is on the, this is all in the E major, you're in the E major. He's not moving his fingers except one time. So he picks this one. This is, by the way, not, not the low note, but the, the one on the D string. Then he picks this one. Then he, this is the one time he moves his finger, he moves this finger from here down to the next string. So now he's actually on the same string as this note, but he's moved up one fret. You can pick this finger up if you want to, but there's no need to. This note, this, and then this one open. That's the B string open. Don't use your left hand at all. So it goes. That's how he actually plays it on the one I'm kind of watching on YouTube to see what he's doing. Other people are doing something simpler than that, but maybe I'll show you. But just for the fun, one more time. It's this note. 